beautiful. Thanks. I um, love this I'm fancy trying. casual outfit. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's very it's, nice. Honestly, it's just comfy. Did you go to a water polo school too? Uh, <laughs> no, my, my school did not have water polo. I know, we didn't either. We were not that cool. Yeah. Um, you have a big birthday coming up, 30. I do. That's exciting. 3-0. Yeah. I know. Are you, I was, I get excited. I'm like a decade older than you, so I'm almost 40, and so I'm, it's a big birthday year for me too. Yeah. Do you get excited about it and plan stuff? I am, yeah. Uh, people, people have asked me, they're like, are you scared? Like 30, you know, that's, no, that's different. That's great. But yeah, I feel good. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. And yeah, I love birthdays. I feel like my 20s um, were, were so fun. Like I did a lot of cool stuff in my career, but like yeah. they were hard overall. Yeah. Like growing wise, so yeah. I was excited for 30. Yeah, I'm looking forward to like that next chapter in life. That's Super exciting. Excited. That's yeah. awesome. Um, so you really get into like I heard wine, and do you you make wine? Did I hear that? I don't make you wine don't... myself. Maybe okay. in the future. Okay. I, I would love that, but yes. I want to last... do the Lucille thing where you crush the grapes. I and... have done that. You have? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. This is at one of our favorite wineries in Paso Robles, um, and we got to crush the grapes. And but like you get into see. wineries, like the whole tasting, yeah, everything. That's yeah, like, that's my like, go-to thing now. Like people ask me, what do you want to do on your birthday? Yeah. Like big party? I'm like, no, I just want to like go to Paso, go to Napa. Yeah, with a nice charcuterie chill. board. Oh yeah, yes. love a charcut. Yeah. Um, yeah. And just, uh, yeah, enjoy some, some wine. Are you like really good at it? Cause I'm always, I um, lie. I'm like, oh, the oak, yes, the vanilla, yes. I'm like, I never taste what there's, I don't have um, an experienced palate or I'm, something, I don't I'm, know. Yeah, I'm getting better, but you, I definitely still like BS my way. <laughs> Me like, too. Yeah, yeah. notes of the cranberry and the. Yeah, totally, I totally <laughs> felt autumn in my mouth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, yeah. Um, but um, is this photo from one of your birthday parties? Cause this is, you look terrified. See, <laughs> I, I don't even remember where that's from, but yeah, clearly you can see it in my eyes. I will I'm say not... Flip Flop the Clown does look scary as hell. <laughs> like, it's like, I mean, who likes clowns? Well, and that one particularly <laughs> looks like he might Flip wear your skin. Is... Yeah, <laughs> like, he might, yeah, he looks scary. He's like he looks kind of scary. I do not yeah. trust him. My, I don't like clowns either. I don't like it scared yeah. me. I my I was the youngest in my household and I was shown. Is it it the movie with the clown? Yes. Right. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. yeah, that scared the hell out of me. Yes. I was done with clowns. I do feel like I've kind of overcome my fear of clowns though oh. because I've started. I've been like really into Halloween and like oh. I throw a Halloween party. Yeah. Have a bunch costumes of costumes mandatory. Yes, costumes yes. mandatory. And yeah. I love opening my party with like a super scary entrance. Oh. So before you like walk onto the dance floor, People you gotta go the through the scary entrance. That and, says a lot about you. Yeah, and you bet yourself, <laughs> I put a lot of clowns in there. I love that. Filled with clowns. That's so funny, you have, a, you have an entrance, a hall of scary. Yeah. Um, so wait, you're engaged, congratulations. I am, thank That's you. That's exciting. This is my favorite thing to learn about you though. Her name is Taylor. <laughs> Like yeah, what? Is. We either <laughs> What were the chances? It, we either keep it super simple or super complicated. Okay, so. do you go by Taylor and she goes by Tay? Yes. Okay, that makes it easy. Or a lot of people just do boy uh, boy Tay and girl Tay. Oh my God. Like, boy, it sounds Tay, like girl. you're in Montessori, like, yeah. like pre-K. Yeah, but awesome. either Taylor and Tay or boy That's Tay, right. girl Tay, whatever How works. How did y'all meet? Um, Funny story, my sister actually introduced us. Oh, I love that. Yeah, my sister always- Your family approved first, that's nice. Yeah, it's yeah. just me and my sister, um, so we're super close, and she always said that she was gonna introduce me to my future wife, and I was like, sure. Oh my gosh. But um, she actually did, yeah. That's she, so cool. Yeah, she was like, I have an idea, throw, because I love game nights. She's like, throw a game night, invite me and some of my friends over, yeah. and I'll bring Tay, she'll just be one of them, and you guys can just meet and- Feel it out. Yeah, and- It worked out. We hit it off, and the She rest should start history. a company of setting people up. <laughs> right, yeah. So how did, how did you end up proposing? Um, you know, Tay's awesome, and this is one of the things I love about her. She's like, I don't want anything special. I don't want anything grand. Oh. Like, I just want to, like, do it in the kitchen. Like, I love to cook, so I make us dinner all the time. Yeah. And she's like, one night when we're just, like, having dinner and a glass of wine, like, that's all I want. Yeah. Um, so I did do it in the kitchen, but I did it big in the kitchen. I, I had I it that. filled with flowers. We had and, this picture, oh, and yes. I mean, what are we talking about with the flowers <laughs> and the fire? I love it. Yeah. And it's like, I love that you have the neon sign. You're like, are you into this last name? <laughs> Do you approve? Because <laughs> we already share one name. Yeah. This is going to be extra Oh my God. I 
actually didn't think about I know. Just We're now. literally going to be the same person. Oh my God, that's amazing. It's ridiculous. I just thought of that. How um, narcissistic. It's amazing. It's great. It'll be easier. Um, yeah, so yeah. she shared this photo um, from when, I don't know, she must have been like 10 years old. Yes. And this is great. Yes. Because everyone's in Twilight. Everybody loves Twilight. I actually loved the books before the really? first movie even came out. Oh, wow. I thought it was good. It was, yeah. it was fun. And then I love the movies. But here's what I want to ask. So was she an Edward fan or a Jacob fan? That is the question. Um, was she? She was, she was Team Edward. <laughs> yes, <laughs> she awesome. was. But That's so she, she's made up for it. I'm allowing her to make that mistake yeah. in her past. Yeah, um, we all have pasts. Yeah, so she's good now, but <laughs> she she was not Team Jacob, unfortunately. That's so funny. I love it. I all right, still love well, her. <laughs> let's take a let's good thing. And we're back. <laughs> um, that that was a look at his new movie, Home Team. You can watch it now on Netflix. Um, so I, I saw the movie. It's so great. But tell everybody what it's about. Uh, it is um, it's actually based off a true story of Sean Payton, who was the who is the coach of the New Orleans Saints, yeah. um, and he was suspended a year from the NFL for the scandal, um, and he went back and moved back to his small hometown in Texas yeah. and ended up coaching his son's peewee football team for the year. Which Brought them awesome. to the state championship game. It's an amazing true story. Um, I play uh, the son's peewee football coach yeah. um, who ends up asking Sean if he'll help coach the team with me. That's so cool. Yeah, it's a really and it's such a feel-good vibe. Oh, it's, yeah, it's like, a, it's like a modern, silly, bad news bears. Yeah, oh my God, love. Yeah, yeah who doesn't? So go watch it. You're going to love it. <laughs> um, did you play football as a kid? I did, yeah. I started playing football when I was real young, um, and then I had to give it up in high school because I just started missing practices and stuff because I started acting. And yeah. I was like, you know, got a job and I missed practice and a game here and there and the coach was like, that's not gonna fly. Yeah, same thing with me with singing. Really? I loved sports and then I was like, you know what, this one might work out more, so yeah. I, I kept singing. At the time, I was devastated. It worked out, we chose the right path. <laughs> We're here now. <laughs> Yeah, but it is devastating because it's it's such a fun thing. Like that's where I learned teamwork. That's why I think I work well as a team. Like yeah. I I think there's so many things you learn. Even if you're not going to be a professional player, there's so many awesome things Great you learn in sports. Lessons. Yeah. And yeah. um, well, you posted this video of you on stage at the Kane Brown concert recently. So how did this happen? <laughs> I love this. Kane's a buddy, and you know he invited me out to the show, and I was like, absolutely. And then when I get there, he's like. Would you want to come on? He has a song called Famous Friends. Mm -hmm. And he's like, would you want to come on stage for that? And, you know, kind of just, I'm like, kind of just what? Like, do, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I don't sing. You're just going to be a famous friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically That's what I was. That's your job, yeah. Because I didn't sing. I'm yeah. like, I can't dance. I'm going to just look so weird. He's like, you got it, bro. We did have a little tequila courage. Oh, he convinced you that way. Yeah, he, yeah. he suckered Liquid me in courage. with that. And, um, and then I found myself on stage in the middle of the Staples Center. It's kind of fun. No, because like oh, yeah. people expect probably he does that probably if he you know has anybody and people expect it it's fun yeah and it's out of context people are like wait what so random. yeah <laughs> it's know. it's so fun though it's it's yeah. like a bonus for the concert so it it's cool a, that you did it it was a good time and yeah. I'm just a huge fan of his so it was super yeah cool for me oh too. god he's do, doing so well yeah, yeah. Uh, well speaking of music so Olivia Rodrigo is a huge Twilight fan as is the world um, I love Olivia as well her record's <laughs> so great and she said that Jacob's favorite song off her album would be Traitor which is she's funny. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's funny. Do you agree? Yeah, I can see yeah. that. I, yeah. I think if I had to choose one, um, I think I've heard most of them. I yeah. mean, she's crushing it these days. Oh my God, every song is so good on that's the album. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. She's, she is radio. Traitor, that's funny. Because yeah. Bella, I was like, that's funny. Yeah, too soon. Um, yeah, <laughs> is it too soon? <laughs> um, so you still get a lot of fan mail. So here's one that you posted. Oh boy. Let's show this. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. First of all, if you're rocking that kind of body boy, I'd be doing those photos too. <laughs> like, that's here's, amazing. Here's my favorite thing about that photo. I'm not wearing anything Except tennis but shoes. tennis shoes. Like what? I because don't... you want to take care of your feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess, <laughs> I guess. Love the shoes. This is amazing. Great touch. Oh Oh my God, that's amazing. Um, well, because of streaming, everybody um, is starting to rediscover things. Like there were huge pop culture moments. Yeah. And even my seven-year-old daughter, literally I found her watching Twilight, which I love you, but I had to turn it off because she's seven. Yeah. But I, I love the movies and she's, I'll let her watch it when she's older. But it's cool because you're getting these all these new audiences. Yeah. Like, And I think that's kind of interesting. And I know that you had to have had 
crazy passionate fans back in the day. You're probably getting even more now. What's like a crazy story from like a fan that happened? They're they're definitely more chill now because like you said, it's like it's the like these younger kids that are coming up that are just starting to watch yeah. Twilight for the first time. Um, but I mean, back in the day, there's oh my gosh, there's a list of just crazy memories and I can't imagine. fan experiences yeah. from you know being in Brazil and having thousands of fans break into our hotel and they had to call the Brazilian National Guard to get them what? out. Like, these are very passionate fans. I mean, it's, it's why the books and movies are so successful is these fans, they, they don't give up. They get what they want. I Love the books and movies. I would never break into your hotel room. There are normal fans. <laughs> like, there are people that just appreciate the art. Um, but yeah. I was thinking that we could maybe play a little game, okay. a little Twilight game. Are you okay. into it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I might kick your behind. I kept it daytime. <laughs>